Welcome to Wood Gas Stove Science, where we will be attempting to learn the science behind wood gas stoves. I'll not be showing you how to build this stove, but trying to optimize the design. This is Air Inlet Experiment Part 2. The parameters that I changed for this second experiment where the secondary air inlets were increased from 8 to 16 holes and the size was increased from 3 sixteenths to a quarter of an inch. The primary holes were also increased from 3 sixteenths to a quarter of an inch. There were no changes made to the outside can. To keep the fuel parameters the same throughout all the experiments, I again used one measured cup of wood pellets one tablespoon of wood pellets soaked in heat from the yellow bottle. From the beginning of the burn all the way through uh, to when the wood started to gasify and all the way through the burn it uh, was very obvious that the burn was almost identical to the first test. Uh, there was almost no, nothing coming out of the secondary jets at the top. Um, the flame was very blue, um, and a, almost a dome over the top of the can, um, and it was still a very disappointing test. Partway through the burn, I decided that I would cover up some of the fresh air inlets. Uh, by covering up six out of the eight inlets, I was almost able to extinguish the flame. It got to the point where it was guttering out. Uh, this at least told me that the fresh air inlet and primary air holes did at least have some effect. One of the most interesting parts of this experiment uh, was the fact that the burn time between part one and part two were almost exactly the same. Uh, the second experiment died within 30 seconds of when the first experiment died. The burn time was 42 and a half minutes. And again after the burn was finished uh, I dumped out the pellets so I could take a look at what occurred to them. Uh, after moving them around and looking at them, they looked almost exactly like the previous test. Uh, they were mostly black, size had reduced, um, they was still quite a bit of charcoal left. The amount of charcoal left was about two-thirds of a cup, just like in the first experiment, and uh, they looked about the same, the cross-section was still black. Uh, in summary, the burn time for test 1 and 2 were the same, they were within 30 seconds, the fuel used were the same, the appearance the same, and the jet size, there were really no jets coming out. In conclusion, there were no airflow to the secondary ports. We're going to have to increase the outer can diameter some. Uh, and this was Wood Gas Stoves Science, uh, Air Inlet Experiment Part 2. Thank you for joining me. Goodbye.